Brothers, for those of you who are watching these Sowing the Faith videos, if you want to be notified every time I post something new, you can subscribe to my channel, click on the notification bell, give a thumbs up and like the video because you certainly will be greatly blessed. May the Lord God bless you. There is a very important revelation for us here in Romans 6.20. For that which we are living today, because now people are seeking the Lord God. But they didn't seek Him in the past. So take a look at what the Bible says here. For when you were slaves of sin, before being of Jesus, we were slaves to sin, folks. Sin dominated our lives. It did what it wanted. We behaved and spoke the way it wanted to and whatnot, but not anymore. Now our life has truly changed. For when you were slaves of sin, you were free in regard to righteousness. So we are free now. Now we are obligated to be the righteousness of God in Jesus Christ. We no longer lie. We no longer deceive. We no longer do anything wrong because our body is now the temple of the Holy Spirit. We are now servants of the righteousness of God so that it may be fulfilled in us the good will of the Lord God. This is why we evangelize and this is why we bless other people. Take a look at a blessed person now. I was buying groceries and I had to come to church on Thursday. But I don't know what happened, but the cart tumbled and I fell because I had no place to hold on to. And I hit my arm. I ended up having to go to the hospital. Then I wasn't able to move my arm. When I was under the effects of the medication, I was able to do anything, but then, when the effects of the medication ended, I couldn't move my arm. But today, I did not take my medication. How long have you had this? It's been about 15 days. 15 days. Now raise both your arms, sister. <laughs> she almost gave me a punch in the face, folks. Now I want to pray for you, God. Thank you so much. We are no longer slaves to sin, Lord. Father, give us the strength we need so we won't fall in any of the temptations the enemy puts us through. May we remember anywhere, anytime, wherever we are, that we are servants of righteousness. Your righteousness has to work in us. So, Father, I unite my faith with the faith of these people. I rebuke the evil from their lives now and say, get out in the name of Jesus. Thank you and have a good day.